So guys, chatting to week number three of your cycle. So we're starting off on Monday with some push pull work. And um, we have a tempo bench press and we have a strict chest to bar. Both of the those pieces are being progressive on what we would have done two weeks ago. So five by four of the tempo bench press, 70% is now the working percentage that we're going to be basing this off. Three seconds on the way down, and it's a one second nice quick return to the top. Strict chest to bar, it's again five by five. Um so obviously we have some scaling options for the chest bar, that being an inverted row. Um, that can be from a bent knee position or that can be from a straight leg position or foot elevated position to make it slightly harder. So the goal for, for you in this one, um, specifically is to make this slightly harder than what you would have performed last time. So if that's going to a straight leg or that's going to a foot elevated chest bar or going to a straight chest bar full body from the rig, just make it slightly harder. <laughs> Workout then is a good pacing challenge. So how this is going to work is um, you'll have 60 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest for 12 rounds. Um, it's skiing for calories, it's push jerks, it's chest to bar pull-ups and tuck-ups. So your goal here is to make your second and third rotation the exact same as your first rotation. Um, so the score is total rep, but every rep outside the first round score is minus a rep. So let's just say, for example, you know, between your ski calories, your push jerk, your chest to bar pull ups, and your tuck ups, you get, you know, 120 repetition there, just for argument's sake. Um, and then let's say the next round you get 110. Well, 110 plus 120 is 230, but minus 10 reps for being 10 reps short of that first rotation. So technically, it'd be 230 minus 10 reps, you'd be on 220 then. So yes, there is a little bit of maths to do, but the goal here is to get you to understand how to um, try and start as you mean to go on, not go too fast early, not go too slow early, get that kind of Goldilocks pace where um, you're able to sustain it. So after that then, Tuesday, we have some hinge work. So we're gonna do some more clean grip deadlifts, um, slightly heavier this time. I'm gonna do some high hang squat cleans, slightly heavier this time, hopefully. Worker then hanging together, so five rounds of 12 hang cleans, 24 double unders, without any rest then, five rounds of 12 hang squat cleans, and 24 slash 20 calories of row. <laughs> Wednesday then, we have a new high rocks workout. Um, so there's two rotations through this, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, and six minute intervals. And inside those intervals, you have some work to do. So here we go, it goes. Um, I think actually the order of these sorry i'm i'm mistaken here so first interval goes 200 meter run 20 burpees and that is going to be a burpee broad jump over the cones you'll then get a 30 seconds rest before the next interval you have four minutes to complete 200 meter run 30 sandbag lunges and 20 burpee broad jumps you get a bit of a rest then and you have five minutes to complete 200 meter run 40 swings 30 lunges 20 burpee broad jumps you get rest and then you'll have six minutes to complete 200 meter run 50 wall balls 40 kettlebell swings 30 lunges and 20 burpee broad jumps so as you can see we're just adding a new element into each of those intervals and um, so the goal is to get as much done within that as we can and um, and even if we're not getting it done we'll just move on we'll take that 30 seconds of rest then we have a member's choice workout on thursday so this is louise pedlow's workout workout is called 40 dirty and thriving um so it's a partner workout it's 40 rounds 20 rounds of one clean three pull-ups and six slash five cows on the bike weights on the cleans are 60 and 40. you'll have one minute to rest uh, and change your weights after those 20 rounds so it's up to you guys to check the clock then 20 rounds of one deadlift 90 or 60 kilos three burpees and six or five calories from there, we are finishing off on Friday with some squatting. So banded squats, again, slightly heavier. Pause squats, slightly heavier. This will be the last week we'll do the pause squats. So yes, it is 80%. We are going to do four sets of three. They're going to be quite tough, but just know that this is going to be removed when you come back to this next time. After that, then we have an ALAP. So as long as possible, first minute, one calorie on the rower. One front squat, second minute, two cows, two front squats, third, it's three and three. And you just keep adding a calorie and adding a front squat um, until you can. So some targets there that we'd like you to strive for. It's good to come in with a plan and something that you'd like to hit. Seven plus is good. Nine is great. Eleven is fantastic. And 12 plus would be excellent. 
That is your program for the week. Any questions, let us know. Green and Palooza is starting very, very shortly. Make sure you're getting yourself prepared for that. And if you do have any issues about getting a buddy, we can still pair you up with someone. The, the sign-up sheet is on the desk. So uh, ask one of your coaches or send us an email.